In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reading list for your class using the library's content folder in Blackboard. Within your Blackboard course site, select Content from the left side menu. Go to Tools and select Library's Content Folder at the bottom of the drop-down list. You can give your reading list a name and also add a description. At this point, you have the option to attach a file, either uploading one from your computer or attaching one from somewhere else in your Blackboard course. You can also set whether you want to track number of views, as well as limit the date range for when the reading list is available. Now the reading list shell is created. Clicking on the title will take you to a page where you can search for library content to include in your reading list. This tool searches all of the content that's available in the library's discovery tool Articles Plus. Once you find a reading you want to include, click Add to Reading List. You can refine your search results by using the filters on the left side of the page, just like in a database. You can also resort your results by date. Click on See Current Reading List to see the content you've added, change the orders of the readings, delete readings, or add additional resources and instructions. For example, you can add a URL to link to a website. Clicking Add Notes reveals a field where you can type notes about the article for your students to consider. At the top of the page, you can also add text or instructions about the reading list as a whole. You can go back and add more library content to your reading list by clicking on Search for Library Resources. By default, your reading list will be set to private, meaning only you and the people enrolled in your course will be able to view it. Setting it to public will allow other instructors to view and make copies of it. When you're finished adding or editing items, click Return to Course. You can create as many reading lists for your course as you like. You can see what the reading list looks like to your students by clicking on the Student Preview icon in the top right. In Student Preview mode, you'll need to navigate back to the reading list by selecting Content, then clicking on the reading list. Then you'll be able to view the list and open the readings. There are several advantages to using the library's content folder to create a reading list in Blackboard. Your students will only have one place they need to go to access all their readings. Because the reading list links directly to the library's licensed content, it's copyright compliant. Finally, all the links are permanent, and you don't need to worry about updating links. Any link will be updated automatically. If you have any questions about using the library's content folder, or incorporating other library resources into your Blackboard course, be sure to let us know.